Hi, I'm Pariah Burke, and this is Designing in Duotone in InDesign. Monotone, one color, either black or a color standing in for black, and duotone, two colors, sharing what would have been black or one replacing black and one replacing white, never go out of style. They aren't for every design, but monotone and duotone are timeless and always in fashion. They impart an elegance, a sophistication to many images and designs that often surpasses the impact possible with full color. When sending a job to a printing press, each of the four process color inks incurs a setup cost, as does each spot color. When the budget for a project is small, you can save money by using one or two ink colors only. You can make those one or two inks look fantastic by using different tints and shades of those colors. Here's a newsletter. This newsletter is designed to economically use only a single color ink, black. Unfortunately, it doesn't make the most of that single ink. The same single black ink is used to print any shade of gray, so why not use grays to create more visual interest than this newsletter's stark black and white? Look at the central photograph. Would it be as interesting if it didn't include shades of gray? Using shades of gray, tints of the black color, can turn this into this, which is exactly what we'll do in the first clip in this module. But of course, you needn't always use black. You can create beautiful, elegant, monotone artwork using tints of any single color. We'll do that next, using process colors other than black and other than solely black. An entire world of color, including special inks such as neons, pastels, and metallics, opens up for your projects when you use spot colors for monotone design. InDesign makes doing so as easy as using any other ink color. While monotone shades of a single color always yield elegant designs, moving into two colors, duotone, can add another dimension of interest and creativity. In creating mixed ink swatches, we'll mix spot and process colors to fix an ugly problem that commonly occurs when process colors mix with spark colors in gradients. Doing that will also introduce you to the concept of mixed inks for duotone work. Up to this point, we will have worked with tints, which is effectively mixing white with a color to create lighter versions of that color. Building on your knowledge of creating a mixed ink swatch, we'll use mixed ink groups to automatically generate shades of colors, mixing black with a spot color to create swatches of darker tones of that color. Making native InDesign objects like vector shapes, frames, and text into monotone or duotone isn't all you can do. Grayscale photographs are, by their nature, already monotone, but that color doesn't have to be black. You can change it from black to any other color, whether that's a single process ink, two or three process inks, spot colors, mixed inks, or mixed ink group shades. Creating a retro or antique or old time look is one of the most common uses for duotone techniques. In this clip, you'll learn how to apply two different colors to the same grayscale image so that even the white is colored. This technique can be employed with any color combination, including reversing an image from black on white to white on black, but is especially useful for creating that sepia-toned look common to old-time photographs. Finally, when monotone and duotone are used for design aesthetics instead of cost savings, combining multiple such objects, you can create stunning designs that truly stand out in a world that is otherwise always full color. Let's get started with monotone design in using tint swatches.